Wine Downtown is back and restaurants in the capital city are gearing up for a very busy weekend. The program, it aims to help local restaurants get more business during these slower winter months. But this year, restaurants are facing another challenge. CBS 13's Brady Hauptleib joins us live downtown with what they're dealing with. Brady. Yeah, that's right, Guy. This is all about helping local businesses, especially during a time when um, people are spending less money. Um, and on top of that, restaurants are also dealing with another obstacle, inflation. Before opening, staff at Hook and Ladder Restaurant on S Street hope this is the quiet before the storm as they prepare for a busy weekend for Dine Downtown. It's fun for us because it feels like every year we have an opportunity to take another crack at it. It's a different format than we usually do. The annual event features more than 30 restaurants downtown offering a three-course meal for under $45. It's a nice way for us to get an influx of people in here during what would normally be a slow time of the year. During the winter months, restaurants often struggle to get customers as many try to save money following the holiday spending season. But this program aims to encourage people to support local business and maybe try a new restaurant and for a good price. The food and the service, everything was really great. I really enjoyed it very much. But this year, inflation has increased the price for food, taking a toll on restaurants. But unfortunately, it just is the way it is. Last month, inflation rates climbed unexpectedly to 3.4%. And according to NerdWallet, on average, patrons are paying 5.2% more at restaurants this year than last. The price index also rose by 0.3% from November to December. And to keep up with inflation, prices must also go up. The price has changed from Dine Downtown from last year to this year. I mean, it's $45 this year. Still, My Well on K Street is offering a four-course meal for only $45, which is less than half of what it would have cost on a regular night. It's, it's not going to be that bad. It's not going to hit your pocket like the rest of the inflation right now is going to. All right, it looked like a fun night. And Maya Well, one of those restaurants that uh, Brady profiled there, said they had 340 people turn out. So for a night that's cold, you know, and maybe a little slow because people, again, are trying to save some money after the Christmas season, sounds like it did a pretty good job on night one. Pretty good, but hoping the rest of the uh, weekend is not rained out. Right, we'll for sure. Check back in with Ashley on the timing there.